Hello and welcome to another custom figure review. Today I'll be looking at my custom Yeti. Now, as you can see, he is quite hairy. Um, it is uh, real fur, not sculpted. Not like real, real fur. I think it's... Um, we're, we're just agree now. When I say fake fur, I mean fur that is fluffy like that and not sculpted okay so it's fake fur that you can feel not sculpted <laughs> anyway back to the review um, uh, I built this last year sort of um, it started last year and then I sort of abandoned it because I ran out of I ran out of super glue um, there was a lot of super glue the base figure that's what I should start with. The base figure is actually, um, I don't know if you can tell by the feet, um, it's actually Morbius. Um, I thought that would be the best figure for it. Uh, I'll show you some pictures while I'm saying stuff, so it sort of shows you how I built it. Um, started with the Morbius figure, I removed all the extra bits and one side of the claw, so it became an arm. Um, I covered it in papier mache, so it created a sort of fatter look. I um, st covered, started covering it in in the fur, and um, then I ran out of super glue, so I decided to sculpt the hands. Um, custom sculpted. The same with the toes. Don't know if you can see them. I sculpted them as well, painted, and then uh, basically covered it in fur, um, and that's what you get. So underneath all that fur is actually a Morbius figure. It's quite light because obviously I used papier mache. Um, I tried as much as possible to keep as much articulation in the figure. Uh, the only articulation I lost was the feet. Um, the actual because on the Morbius figure they twist but they don't anymore um, as for articulation on the rest of the body the arms do do a full 360 uh, they do go out because they were ball jointed which is quite handy the um, there is I can find it there it is there is articulation at the elbow and because it was ball jointed at the arm you can twist it which also means that there was no wrist articulation but because they're ball jointed at the um, at the elbow uh, you can uh, turn these hands which is good which means I can do a nice attacking a nice attacking pose uh, you will have noticed there's no eyes or mouth um, I thought I'd just keep it generic yeti <laughs> Um, basically I tried to make eyes and they failed miserably so that's just gone obviously there was no head articulation uh, there is articulation at the uh, at the knee don't know if you can see there you can see the original color of the well, look there's a bit of paper mache but you shouldn't really see that anyway um, there is at the thigh as well slightly it is quite stiff but that's it's a yeti what more could you want with that majority is with the arms so that's good and yeah that's a good custom I'm really happy with it scaling with other figures that is a 5 inch Dalek so it is quite tall so let's get a 12th doctor in there here we go as you can see it's still it's taller than a uh, 12th Doctor so it is quite tall for a Yeti but uh, I think that's perfectly but I think that's a good size for it so yeah it's good scale it does also mean that if you do something like this he can hug other action figures which is cute 
Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, don't you just want one? <laughs> so cute. It's just a lovely cuddly yeti that will claw your eyes out, you know. But uh, there we go. That is my custom yeti figure. Hope you enjoyed looking at it, and I hope that other people think of making one too because it is really really fun to have a yeti figure it's really sad that we're not actually getting one officially thank you very much for watching and i will see you next week when we'll be looking at another dalek i know how lucky are you next week we'll be looking at the eternity circle dalek i think i think yes Put that down a bit. Don't slide away. Don't slide away. There we go. So, see you next week for that.